Hello everyone, today is September 29th and it's one of my favorite feast days of the year. Partially for selfish reasons because it's the feast of the Archangels Raphael, Gabriel, and Michael. So just because it's my namesake, but it's always a good good time for us to reflect on who these saints are or who these angels are really. Uh, it's, it's about the only time in our uh, church calendar where we, we refer to some saints, which is true, but they are angels. So it's a good time for us to kind of think about what is an angel and what is a saint. And so when we talk about angels, we, we say that they are made in God's image and likeness and they are spirit. So they don't have necessarily a bodily form like you and I do, but they can they, they are the spirit of God moving. And what they do is they bring God's uh, message. And, and what our popes have said over the years is that they, uh, they are named kind of when they bring a message, named by their message. And if they bring a particularly important message, then they were, are called an archangel. So the archangel Gabriel is the one who brings God's message to Mary, to the Annunciation, who tells her that she will bear the Son of God to the world. That's a pretty important message. Gabriel means God's strength. So that is the way that God's strength is going to be manifested is through him coming as a little baby. So what we all would think is strength in this world is turned upside down by Jesus' incarnation and by the message that is born by Gabriel, the archangel. Then we have Raphael, Raphael, you can call him either way, but he is known as God's remedy or God's healing. That's what that means. And so in the book of Tobit, he brings healing to Tobit's eyes. This, the way that God works his grace in the world, he wants to bring healing to his people. And that's the message of healing brought by Raphael. And then we have St. Michael, who, whose name means who is like God. Now, when I was growing up and I heard that, I was like, oh, Michael, Michael is like God. That's me. <laughs> no, that's not quite it. And um, it's not something that boosts my ego or anyone else Michael named, ego, uh, named Michael their ego either. It's, it's rather, it's like a question saying, who is like God? And so it is a response or a, a challenge to Satan and all of his angels, all of the evil in the world that Every time Satan wants to do something, because everything he does is against God, he's always rebelling. He wants to be like God in a certain sense. He wants to make things the way he thinks they should be. And there's times in our lives where we can do things that are in that same vein, where we want to make things the way I want them to be. St. Michael reminds us with God's message, who is like God? It's a great, it's a great way really to bring that about. It's this questioning you know, we could question ourselves every time we find ourselves wanting to do something the way I want to do it. Am I like God? Can I be like God? And the answer is definitively no. That's why Michael is always fighting against the evil of the world with that great battle cry. And so we can call upon these archangels in our daily lives when we need God's strength that comes through really through our weakness, through our littleness, when we need God's healing, which is the way that he loves to show forth his love to us every day. And when we need to know that God is God and I am not, and neither is any other human being. When we wanna ask that question, who is like God and it's only God himself. So today let's celebrate these archangels and celebrate God's grace that brings the message of goodness and love to us each and every day of our lives.